this is a very long-standing, uh, very deep and uh, very close relationship. Uh, it goes back hundreds of years. Uh, in fact, one of the uh, pictures on the wall there is of a treaty which dates from 1800, which is known as the Unshook Treaty because it talks about a friendship between Oman and the United Kingdom which will remain unshook until the end of time. Uh, and that is very much the spirit of our friendship. Uh, but as well as being historic, it's also a very modern uh, relationship uh, and it's a very broad relationship. Uh, we have, uh, of course, very close cooperation on defence matters, uh, including uh, the loan service here of British troops who work for the Sultan's Armed Forces. Uh, we had our biggest uh, joint exercise anywhere in the world uh, for 20 years in Oman in 2018, uh, Safe Syria 3. Uh, so we have a very close defence relationship, but it's much broader than that. On the economic side, uh, Britain accounts for all, around 50%, half of all foreign direct investments in Oman. We're by far the biggest foreign direct, uh, direct investor. Um, and we have uh, businesses operating in every sector, not just in the hydrocarbon sector. Uh, but I think, above all, um, it's the people-to-people -people relationships which underpin all of that. Uh, we have some 2,500 Omani students every year in universities and colleges in the UK. Uh, we have partnerships between UK universities and uh, Omani universities. Uh, and we have close links um, between uh, Omanis and uh, British nationals, both living here and in the UK in all sorts of sectors. So it's a very deep and, uh, and close relationship. Uh, thank you, Your Excellency. You know, you just mentioned about the picture that is right behind me right now. Yeah. Talking on those lines, are there any other historic moments or achievements that you would like to highlight? Uh, there is so much it would take a long time to, uh, to uh, encapsulate it all. Uh, but let's just say, uh, I mean, there are many treaties throughout the years. The first one was uh, 374 years ago. Um, and then we've had many since. We've had so many uh, uh, moments of royal visits in both directions. Uh, the last time, her, the last big anniversary, 40th anniversary of uh, National Day, Her Majesty the Queen uh, visited Oman uh, to convey her um, best wishes uh, in person. Uh, His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales has visited Oman regularly, uh, as have uh, other members of the royal family. And of course, um, uh, His Royal Highness the Duke of Cambridge was here uh, just uh, last, uh, last December uh, and had an excellent visit uh, uh, to Oman. So many historic moments like that throughout the ages um, uh, and there will be I'm sure many more to come as we look forward beyond uh, today's uh, National Day to uh, the future relationship. Now talking on the future relationships, Your Excellency, how are the future relationship looking like between these two countries? As I said, we have um, very deep ties across all sorts of different sectors uh, and we're looking at, uh, at, at new areas as well. So we're very conscious that Vision 2040 sets out uh, some very uh, interesting, exciting, ambitious uh, objectives for Oman uh, and a lot of that is on the digital side uh, and the cyber side. Uh, one of the things I'm most pleased about in the last uh, year and it's developed well despite the difficulties of Covid that we all know uh, is our initiative uh, for an Oman UK digital hub uh, and this is the first such hub that we have done anywhere in the Gulf region. Uh, it's a very exciting project bringing together our digital and cyber experts, uh, startups, entrepreneurs, but also uh, school kids and university uh, students. Um, and this initiative is now just over a year old uh, and it has, I think, really uh, helped uh, develop uh, our partnership in a new and very exciting area. Well, thank you so much, Your Excellency, once again for taking out time and joining us for this special episode. My pleasure. Thank you. For more interesting videos, keep watching TTV. Mm -hmm.